All right, so how did you get to Ghana? So like I said, um, it's just like every other people, how they found themselves in their country. Okay. That's it. Uh, you were not lied to that there's a job here. You decided that you were coming to Ghana? Actually, yes, I decided that um, I have to come here because more at times, if you find yourself in the vicinity where you are from, sometimes because of the friends okay. and the families around you, it can actually make you to feel uh, reluctant. Okay. But when you find yourself in a country or environment where your guidance, your friends aren't there, you will live a purposeful life. You'll be more serious to life. Okay. Yes. That's so, so let's look at before you, 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 from Nigeria to Ghana. Okay. What, what was the means of transportation to Ghana? Actually, I came online. I came online. Online, yes. So you car from Nigeria to Ghana. Exactly. Do you have a passport? Yes, I do have international you passport. You have international passport. Oh yeah. Okay, so compare Nigeria, Ghana to Nigeria. What's the difference? Well, I will say there is no really much difference. Uh, we are the same people. Yeah, sure. But the difference will all be about you, your mindset, and okay. all that. Yes. About what is happening here is exactly what is happening. I've spoken to many Nigerians, and <laughs> what they say is. Uh, Ghana is a little bit, uh, I would say, easy to live than Nigeria. Well, I will not really agree to that. Okay. With the reasons being that um, you, you, like, let me refer to this. It is said that a person who has wisdom, okay, okay, wisdom is power. Okay. If you have wisdom and a person that has money okay. what someone that has money can do you when you have wisdom you can as well do, do it. it so in other words you can have money when you don't have the idea, idea. or the wisdom you you, you still remain but this one you can attest to the fact that <coughs> when we talk about let's say peaceful having a peaceful environment ghana okay. is a little bit good than nigeria well well in my own world yeah. okay i will say i have never been exposed to any, any form of violence and all that so i will say i have peace, peace. Even when i was in nigeria, nigeria i also have peace so, so when they talk about uh, here there is peace here there is peace, no peace. i don't really know every uh, good things happens in ghana yeah. bad things also happens I mean, in ghana and in nigeria good things happen in nigeria bad things also happens in nigeria that's my own view Jale, i'm trying to push this guy hard to <laughs> to try and confirm and affirm that ghana is a little bit i mean you know that nigeria but Jale, this guy Jale, yeah yeah, yeah so 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 uh which state are you from where i'm a citizen i'm an indigenous of aquaibom state aquaibom state right, so you are not from a uh, uh where worry Nah. You know, you're not from Worry. No. Shout out to all the Warriors in Nigeria. <laughs> I want you to look straight in the camera. Tell your fellow Nigerians to subscribe to Bix Media. Come again? Tell your fellow Nigerians that they should subscribe to Bix Media. That's the YouTube channel they are watching you right now. Okay. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them in your local. Diet. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, well, 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 yeah. This is uh, Raphael. Okay. But. I have a problem. I cannot really speak my dialect so very well. Hey, yeah. they speak English. Yeah. So, um, good to see you all, my fellow Aquaibomites. Okay, this is your brother here in uh, Ghana. And um, I want to say the station you are viewing right now, subscribe to uh, what do you say? Big Media. Big Media. Media. Yeah, yeah. Big Media. Yeah, it's a nice media, okay, okay, that you can always watch and we will always keep you. Post sure, on, sure, yeah, sure. yeah. Okay, so Charlie, what are you doing in Ghana? Well, 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 currently, professionally, I'm a cosmetologist. Cosmetologist, Met yeah. Bring it to my level as a layman. Well, uh, that actually entails about uh, I'm into beauty, beauty, okay. Yes, uh, I handle all form of hairstyles, wow. makeover, nails, pedicure, your skincare as well, okay. Hair coloring that's what I, I do. Oh, yes. Charlie, yes, yes. yeah. So, be, uh, you see, we find most of Nigerians they come to Ghana, they say there's no job, okay, and they try to indulge in a lot of other things you mm. understand mm. but uh, I, i'm surprised when i was told that Charlie, there's a nigerian guy here who is into cosmetologist right okay and so, uh, so how did you get uh, money to get this place wow <clears throat> uh good good question very interesting well i would say in the aspect of people saying there is no job in the 
society yeah. i will not really agree to it even though there is no job okay, okay. but i noticed that a lot of the youth we are all pending on white colored job all right yeah it is something that each and every one of us we always want but in a situation whereby you don't find yourself no, okay in that sector i think it is your mind for you to create one okay. for yourself yes, okay yeah. like for myself for example okay when i came it wasn't really easy okay okay but first of all i held on to god all right and then he gave me insight and ideas okay i held on to it and then i started up with eti ghana cities you started the whole place this whole thing with eti ghana, ghana cities yes Charlie, you of. see when 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 we watch and uh, you see these billionaires on where they say i started my business with one ghana city they will say Charlie people they give the we the young ones they give we pressure as if say we we, we, like we are not mm. hard working but Charlie, he's saying that he started his business with 80 Ghana, Ghana cities city, sure. no tell me more how, how did you start this whole thing with 80 Ghana cities yeah so I started with 80 Ghana cities in the sense that um, I was just there no work even as I know my skills okay when I go while we hear the business owner they would like Allah the yeah. beliefs I would just use a twinkle of a second and then okay. do away right with their things. Yeah, sure. Okay, so but what can I really do in a situation in a country where no guy there, no friend, no relative? But I happens to I have my last money was at Ghana cities and I took it to Mokola. Okay. And then I get ladies pops. Okay. And then I, I took it and then put it on my head and then go round. Okay. And I was having my hand dryer. I go to Mac. I walk from here to from La Paz to Taifa, no way. Okay. Okay. And then from there I get to Domi. You said you I, got ladies what? Ladies tops. That yes, yes. dress top. Yes, ladies. So dresses. you were selling. Yes, I was selling. So was so let's say I'm just imagine the normal they ask you selling ladies ladies dress. How do you call for the customers? Well, sometimes I go, uh -huh. I don't even sell anything. Yeah. Okay. So but you you like yeah, I enter shops. Okay. I enter shops. I tell people what I do. But I you don't do one one city, one one city. No, 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 no. I don't do that. I go no no no. Okay. I go to shops and I tell them what I do. Okay. I bread here and then I also have this. Okay. If it doesn't come here, it comes from here too. Okay. So I go to market and then I can bread someone very nice here they would give me five cd okay. all i was thinking at that point was just what to eat so subsequently <laughs> Sorry. yeah I, I was able to get more clients nice. just like that okay. and then i started with kiosk too when i got the money i started with kiosk from kiosk to this place okay. from this place i have other businesses, other businesses. by god's grace okay. yes charlie 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 i'm very very impressed yes so from 80 ghana cities yes now to all this, this with what we can yes. see now yes. and even also also restaurants Hey! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Charlie will be too much. Yeah, this is how you go talk, say, God don't bless you. Exactly. God don't bless exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, this my Nigeria guy in Ghana here, he came to Ghana. So, like with this uh, trade, you were doing it in Nigeria before you came to Ghana? Yes, actually, I had the knowledge, but I also tried to enroll in the cos uh, cosmetology school okay. at, uh, under Pentecost, okay. located at Bowie. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, Charlie. Yeah. And so you see, this is this is an encouraging story for I'm um, say I would say our Nigeria brothers and sisters who are in. It, it's not even only them. Even Ghanaians who have moved to Ga Nigeria, wherever you are, this is a touching story. From he came to Ghana, and now he has a, he owns a restaurant and also a shop. So Charlie, this place. Uh, so uh, a, a day how, how how many do you make from this place how much do you make well from this place? if you ask me um sometimes i can get like uh, three four five people yes and more so you, but you have more customers yes i do have more customers so so do, do ladies come here a lot of ladies a lot of artists guys for locking up their dreads braids wow. yes and all wow. that wow. yeah wow. Wow. Yes. charlie i want you to tell anyone your countrymen and bra uh, and women okay. who are in Ghana, who are doing other things, which we all seem to know to be that that good, you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, to encourage them and also to with the youths, because if somebody from Nigeria can do this, then if you are Ghanaian, you can equally do this okay. and even do more, because mostly we have this perception that ni most Nigerian guys are bad and all those things. So if you go to uh, a place and say, well, "I'm from Nigeria." For someone to help you, it becomes a way, a some way. But you say you are a Ghanaian, like cool. So I want you to encourage us, the youth. Tell us something. Somebody who wants to start from somewhere. Somebody who 
seems like Charlie, there's no hope for me mm -hmm. i want us to i want you to look straight into the camera and tell them something and also when you finish give us your contact and your location so that anyone who is looking for you can walk into your your, your shop and also all right have you all right serve that person okay thank okay. you so very much you're welcome uh, well um to all the youth to everybody out there uh you may don't always say my uncle didn't do this for me my father didn't do this for me and my brother didn't do this to me and um, i want to use my very self as an example okay i came in this country i had no one like you've helped me so far so if the government isn't producing or maybe giving an opportunity for work there you your very self you can do you can do more for yourself okay so don't wait for someone to um maybe create a job or tell you come and take this and all that okay so do something in whatever you're doing you you see you see a, a result okay yeah and then first of all look up to god okay anything you are doing put your very best okay don't refuse to be distracted because myself when i came i don't i ignore friends i ignore parties and all that i focus on my job and today the sky is my stepping stone, it's not my limit. Okay. And that's where I am today. Okay, so and then to those of you, maybe you might need my services, please. My contact is 055-35-26107. Alright? I am located at La Paz by Masalachi Road. Okay. Thank you so very okay. much. Okay. Charlie? Yep. Uh, Rafael? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm happy to have you on Bix Media yeah. uh, today. And I'll say, Thank you for accepting us into your studio and also accepting to speak to us. You're most welcome. Yeah. yeah. So, this is Bix Media. You know how we do it Facebook and YouTube. Facebook, Bix Media, YouTube, Bix Media. TikTok is still Let's Talk TV. If you've not subscribed to the channel, you know why? I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Stop that thing and subscribe. <laughs> I'm just joking, you know. <laughs> subscribe to the channel and let's make this thing happen big. Okay. So, I'm going to see you in a different video my name is samuel zizeba you can call me big big sam i'll see you in a different video bye bye